But you sang a song that is got to be one of the hardest songs to sing. Yeah. What is your name? I'm Masha Manjoyan. I'm international all-star and I'm Armenian. My biggest achievement is winning the Voice of Armenia in 2013. For the first performance, I turned all four cheers. They were all very good singers and among them, in age of 18, I won it. It was something very big for me. The voice was the biggest thing I've ever done, and everything has changed after that. Everybody knows me, everybody uh, recognizes me. Lots of concerts, interviews, invitations, kind of like dream life. I just decided to move to Australia because um, I've been here many times uh, and uh, every time I fell in love more and more to this country and came here for something bigger. I have waited for you. <laughs> I have literally <laughs> been like, you, you have a standout voice, period. Thank you so much. When you opened up your mouth just to say, when I was young, I was like, oh God, here we go. And literally you took us on a ride emotionally with so much control, with so much poise and so beautifully and so effortless. And I just strongly feel like the work that we would do together would be so exciting because I just want you to be yourself. That was incredible. I mean, it was just such a beautifully defiant performance. You know, you really came, you just meant business. You delivered exactly what you needed to do. It was a real pleasure to watch you. And it's strange that you and I happen to be in the same place at the same time, because I'm from somewhere else too. <laughs> and, long, and I've come a long, long way to find someone like you. But you sang a song that is got to be one of the harder songs to sing. Yes, I mean, when, when you, yeah. But I love that you had so much passion when you sung as well. Even though it seems effortless for you, you grabbed that mic out of the stand and you just did it in your own timing. The band followed you. And you just so in control, you're such an accomplished singer and, and it would be incredible to coach you because I, I would love to just sit with you and, and figure out what you want out of this experience, see where else you can go with that incredible gift. I, I feel like I would love to coach you. I'd love to be able to find songs that 
continue to show off your amazing voice, but also find subtle moments, storytelling moments to really have the variety that might be exciting for you as well to be able to really hone in on the artists that you dream to be. You know, I love to watch flowers growing and it's so rewarding because obviously there are things that I can definitely teach you and tell you, you know, but it's all, it's all in you. You know, and you've kind of just blown the roof off this building. But now let's see what else you can do, what else you can make people feel. I know with every fibre of my being that I'm the best coach for you. I know it. I know it. I would love you on my team. And it is a very hard decision. It's so hard to decide. Because I love you all. But sorry, I'll go for... Kaylee. Yeah! So for this battle, I have Ella and Masha. Okay, Ella, I, I just threw you into the, <laughs> I just threw you into the fire. <laughs> but you really accepted the challenge beautifully. So yeah. thank you. Well, I feel like I have made a really good pairing. I feel like you guys are gonna bring something really strong out of each other. Ella is so energetic. It's it's kind of scary. Being paired with Marsha, um, bit of a stitch up. Watching everyone's blind audition, she was the one person <laughs> that I watched and I was like, don't put me with her. Please don't put me with her. I knew that these ladies had big powerhouse voices and were ready to just sing bolts off her doors. Now, what I don't want y'all to do is outsing each other. Masha, I want you to lean into even more of your sass. Because when you let me see a little bit of it, I'm like, ooh, it's so good. The funny thing is, it's opposite. I want you to pull back a little. Yeah. Because you give me so, so much. And then I'm like, ooh, pull back right here. Mm -hmm. Because then when you do finally lean in to give me more energy, it's on a good part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's full of respect. Oh, baby. Hey. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to feel that. Like, because oh. like, you can. Like, that's the payoff right there. Oh because I'm so used to singing solo, I need to like pull back. It's not the Ella show, you know? Like it's not just me in the middle being like, woo! And Masha, when you come up for the, just sing it for me real quick. I ain't gonna tell you wrong. I ain't gonna tell you wrong. I really wanted to see if Masha rises to the occasion. She's gotta like bring more than just her voice. She's gotta bring me some personality. Just throw away the word ain't yes. real quick. Say it. Ain't, ain't, ain't gone. Ain't gone. That's so cute. She said it's so right. <laughs> now I'm country. I'm very southern. So just go say anko. 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 Isn't it the same? No. <laughs> Being uh, in English language country, it is so hard. All the time I thought that I'm pronouncing the words correctly, but today I just figured out that no. <laughs> Start it off for me, Masha. What you want? Stop. Give me more. Okay. I feel like this could be such an explosive battle for everyone to watch, so we need to make sure that it's like spot on. What you want? There you go. Baby. You know I got it. Lesson yeah. over. Yes. I think we both want to make it a really tough decision for Kelly. This is going to be the ultimate battle, and I want to win. In the danger zone. I'm going up against Ella, who has a massive voice and energy, but I'm pretty sure that I have more. And I can't win this battle. Watch your Baby, I got it. What you need. You know I got it. All of my
the artist. The artist that I'm going to take through is Ella. Oh, congratulations. Well done, you've won this epic battle, Ella. She is moving forward as the winner of this battle. So proud of you. We have one save left. Boy George is the only one with a save left. <laughs> Boy George can save you here if he thinks you deserve to go forward to the playoffs. You have five seconds to do that. The five seconds starts. So you're going through on Team George. Congratulations, Masha. Masha, welcome to Team George. Thank you. Obviously, the team has changed slightly because Caleb is now no longer with us. I was given a chance to bring back an artist that lost their battle. It was a big decision, but there was only other one artist that stuck in my memory. So I know you can't wait to find out who you're performing against. So let me show you. <laughs> For real? Alice, she's so amazing. Why you? Why you? <laughs> oh. It's gonna be hard <laughs> for Cena. <laughs> but I'm up for the challenge, that's why I'm back. Elise, welcome to Team George. Thank you for having me <laughs> back. In the battles, Elise lost to Adam, mullet boy, and she thought that was the end of the road for her. And in comes mother. <laughs> You're both new to Team George, so it's kind of fair to put you in the same space. Yeah. And I'm doing something a little bit, little bit naughty. Every year I have to put up with the other coaches changing the rules to make things work for them. So I'm doing a same song playoff. I'm gonna have you sing the same song. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. The song you're gonna be singing today is Whitney Houston, I Have Nothing. The song is huge. The greatest song of all time. Don't make me colors, want my soul. I don't want to hurt anymore. Say it my eyes. Can I say in this point something? If I allowed to. Um, can we change the key if it's possible? I think you're a smart singer because, you know, you, you want to do things when you feel safe. That makes sense, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're correct. But, but does that stretch you? I mean, this is supposed to be a challenge. You can do that. OK. And, babe, when you went into your falsetto, that was so beautiful. But, uh, it felt I know, vulnerable. I know that that was maybe the point for you where you're like, I don't want to sing up in my falsetto the whole time. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is when it went, like, here for me. Don't be afraid to break. Allow yourself to just be a bit vulnerable. OK. OK, now we're going to bring in Elise. Marsha and I, like, we both have powerful voices. I knew I had to do stuff that she wasn't doing. Ready? Share my life. Take me for what I am. I was scared of listening to her. I don't want to hurt anymore. She has a very beautiful voice. <laughs> there were some really beautiful moments in there. And there were also moments where you got lost in some of the tricks that yeah. you use <laughs> when you're nervous. Try a little bit more of a conversational approach. You're both known as powerhouse voices. This song is so famous. What are you going to bring as an, the artist that makes it so unique and special and memorable? Diamond dust. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Alice sing the same song in the same key, in the same arrangement. I know I need to stand out and I'm going to sing a part in my native Armenian language. Masha is singing a bit in Armenian. Um, what the f She's pulling out all the tricks. I need to work. I need to find something that's me in the song. This is going to be an epic playoff. Oh. 
This is my international all-star versus my comeback queen. This playoff is going to be electrifying. From Masha and Elise, I want to see great depth and great power. I know that they can smash the roof open, but I want to know what else they can do. I'm taking through is Masha. Congratulations, Masha. I remember it seems that it was just yesterday when I first time came to the studio, and it is so amazing that it is just one step and that's it until semi final. The song that I have chosen for Showdown, it is Chains by Tina Arena. I'm in chains, I'm in chains. What made you choose this particular song? It has a um, very special meaning for me because she's an iconic star here. And this song was the most popular. Tina Arena is really close to everyone's heart. She's an icon in Australia, and it would be a great honor to perform Chains. Choose someone to sing that song to and make it conversational. I think that's going to add massive believability to it, because we know you can sing it, no problem. Thank you so much. Thanks. I think for Masha, the note is always the same, more heart and soul, more freedom. Let your hair down. Thanks. Best of luck. How do you say good luck in Armenian? Hajo Rutsun. Haja? Hajo. Hajo Rutsun. Hajo Rutsun. The chains, it is again a challenge for me. Of course, it's risky, but if I pick to be a singer, I should be ready for everything.
Sasha, nice to meet you. Oh. All right. Sasha McJoy and Tina Arena look alike and sound alike. <laughs> More in ropes than in chains, but still amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see what the coaches thought of that. Uh, what did you think of Marsha's take on the Aussie classic guy? I love that song. And she, she to us in Australia, she's, she's an icon, a proper icon. Had you heard of Tina before? I knew Tina. First of all, when I heard this song, I just love it. And now every time when I'm getting uh, to the stage, I love it more and more. And I, and I feel that it's kind of a... My story as well. I, I felt that today. I felt like you were a lot freer and a lot... Um, it just felt like there was a, a, a lot more heart behind what you were singing uh, tonight mm -hmm. as opposed to, to the playoffs. So I feel like you've, you've ignited something. So I think you're definitely heading in the right direction. It's awesome. Thank you. I Thank agree. You guy. I agree. Over to Kelly, uh, your former coach. Could you have let go of a potential winner, Kelly? Yeah, yeah, I could. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I could have. I have never seen you perform like that. And I, I do agree with Guy. Like, something unlocked today, and you felt like, oh, no, Australia, yes, I won Armenia, but I'm here to win here. And I respect that so much. So you can't go anywhere. You need to be here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, boy, George, uh, one place left on your team for the semi-final. Who's it gonna be? Okay, the next person I'm taking through is gonna be Masha. Congratulations, Congratulations Masha. Masha. You are through to the semi-final. Thank you so much, thank you. Welcome to the semi-final. Thank you. Wow. I'm in semi-finals. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's unbelievable. This is the time for Australia to really get to know who you are. There's a kind of, you know, what I call sort of over-professionalism. Masha has to just let go. How long have you been in Australia? One and a half year. Have you ever tasted some of Australia's delightful delicacies? Like um, Vegemite on toast? Bring on the delicacies, come on. <laughs> <laughs> OK. You cannot tell Australia that you don't like Vegemite. Just fake it. <laughs> How good is that, Masha? Very nice. Look, I love Australia. Everything, food, amazing food, except Vegemite. <clears throat> Let me ask you a few other questions about Australia. Have you ever dated a man in a pair of budgie smugglers? <laughs> Have you ever encountered a drongo? What what that mean? I need a translator, I think. In this point, I need someone to help me. <laughs> I'm only playing with you, Masha, obviously. Um, but what I really want you to do is in encourage you to just really enjoy what's happening to you. Masha needs to give herself a break and just lighten up. Have fun. So I've given the Masha, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande rain on me which is a very current pop song. I can dance this part because I don't know the rest. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm the worst. I make choreographers cry. <laughs> Gargo is someone who's not shy. But don't think about what Gargo does. Do what you would do. Just enjoy this performance, Masha. Really take pride in where you've yeah, got to yeah. in this competition. I think this time my perfection is that I will just leave it behind somewhere on a side and just go and enjoy it. Do it for me and do it for Australia. Yeah.
the person that I'm taking through to the grand finale is going to be Ciala. Ciala, oh. congratulations. You are the third artist locked in for the grand finale. Well done, Ciala. So deserved. So deserved. Marsha, that does mean that we say goodbye to you tonight. I just really want to say thank you, first of all, to you, George. I really love you so much. I'm so grateful. I hope everything is just starting for me here. Aww. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you, Marsha. Thank One more time so for Marsha, everyone. Thanks and congratulations, guys. You deserve it, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.